Hello and welcome back to Act for You. In this particular video, we are going to discuss a new problem from bit manipulation, and quite tricky and uh, very important, right? So this particular problem says that we have to reverse the bits. So I hope you know how to reverse a number, right? Suppose I am giving you 25 as input, and if I ask you to reverse the number, you will return 52. If I give you 125 as the input and ask you to reverse, you will be giving me 521 as the output, the reverse output. But in this particular problem, we are not going to deal with decimal numbers. Instead, we are going to deal with the binary representation of the numbers, right? So in the sense, uh, suppose I am giving you a uh, uh, number, suppose 11. Now, what is the binary representation of the number 11? 1, 0, double 1. And now if I ask you to reverse it, then what will be the output? After reversing this, what will you get? Double 1, 0, 1. And what is the equivalent decimal number? The equivalent decimal number is nothing but 1, 4, 8. So basically 13. Right? And you can see 13 is the output. So basically, uh, in simple words, this particular problem, we are going to see how we can actually reverse the binary representation. Right? Given a binary representation, how can we basically reverse this binary representation? This is, that is what we are actually going to do. So let us go through the problem statement. Given a non-negative integer n, so non-negative in the sense the number is positive or 0. Reverse the bit of n. Reverse the bits of n. So basically whatever is the bits of n, the binary representation of the number, just reverse it. And print the number obtained after reversing the bits. So just print the number obtained after you are reversing the bits. So you can see that is what we have done here. The actual binary representation of the number is being considered for reversing the bits. No leading zeros are being considered. Okay. So you don't, uh, we don't have to actually have to consider the leading zeros. Right. We are just focused on uh, focusing on the important bits of the number right suppose if you have a leading zeros like suppose uh, you have leading zeros like zero 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 now this is not of any interest we are just interested to find this number right in the point uh, that is in a sense suppose you have one zero one one right you have suppose one zero one one and uh, so basically the reverse of one zero one one will be double one zero one and you don't have to basically consider the leading zeros as they have strictly mentioned the actual binary representation of the number is being considered for reversing the bits which means if you have a number 001011, then you don't have to consider these two zeros. Okay, just don't bother about it. Just bother about this only. Leading zeros are of no importance. Now you can just reverse it to 1101. Right? I hope you got the point. This is what they are saying. Don't consider the leading zeros for the actual number. Anyway, so that's all about the problem statement. Now let us see how we can actually reverse. Okay, how we can actually reverse this number. So. The trick is quite simple. We are going to use, you know, tools. And what are the tools that we are going to use? First of all, we are going to use a shift operator and a ZOR operator. Okay. We are going to use a shift operator as well as a ZOR operator. Suppose, in a, for example, I am taking a number 26. Now, let me just increase the size of the screen. Yeah, it's fine. Suppose now if I take a number n is equal to 26. What is the binary representation of 26? As I said, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. The binary representation of 26 will be 16 plus 8, 24 and plus 2, 26, right? So you can see double 1, 0, 1, 0 is the binary representation of the number 26. Now I am interested in reversing it. How will I do? So basically, you will first of all consider another number reverse, right? Initially, reverse is initialized to 0. Right, it is an unsigned number initialized to 0, unsigned int initialized to 0. So, how many bits are there? 5 bits. Suppose this also takes 5 bits. Okay, now what we are going to do is basically we are going to extract one bit from this number. How will we do that? By just saying right shift 1, isn't it? While number is greater than 0, okay, so the code is like this while our number is greater than 0, what we are going to do? we are basically going to see okay the number is greater than zero it's fine perform left shift on this reverse so reverse equal to reverse left shift one so we are going to perform a left shift on this because you, you know that the next time i'm whenever this loop is being executed i will be basically inserting a bit into this particular number so while n is greater than zero true reverse equal to reverse left shift one so no problem if and if you perform the left shift you will still get 0000, zero, 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 zero. So no problem with it, right? Anyway, what next? 
now you have to check that after you have performed the left uh, shift that's fine what is the number located at the this position what is the number okay what is the number located at this position now how do we check what number is located at this position we have already solved this particular problem okay in bit manipulation we are going to basically say this and one so if you are just going to perform a bitwise and operation between the number and one so bitwise operation between the number one one zero one zero and one now if there is one present in here then the output will be one otherwise the output will be zero this is obviously zero 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 so these all are zero because i am performing bitwise and now all depends on this bit if this bit is one it will become one if this bit is zero this will become zero so what does it indicate the result is basically equal to zero means false which indicates that this bit consists of nothing but zero this bit consists of nothing but zero so i will not do anything why because remember when i am going to perform the reverse of this number when i'm going to perform the reverse of this number it will be like 0 1 0 1 1 right but i'm not interested in this zero that is why whenever i encounter a zero at this bit okay i will not do anything so that is why i'm giving a check if you know n and 1 is true if it is true okay only then i'll be doing something what is the that thing i'll be discussing right now otherwise don't do anything just simply say n equal to n right shift 1 so what will happen n equal to n right shift 1 we saw that right now this number is not 1 n and 1 is not giving me 1 so this will not enter the loop instead it will say n equal to n right shift 1 which means this is now omitted right shift isn't it right shift means this is gone now now focus on this so what will happen now control comes back here number is still greater than zero what we will do reverse equal to reverse left shift one so again you will basically reverse by left shift one again there will be no change the output will still be zero 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 fine now what do we do now we want to check what is the number at this what is the bit uh, value at this position what do we do again we just take the number what is the number this time the number this time is one one zero one and again we perform bitwise operation with one bitwise end what will be the output the output will be one this time which indicates that one is present at this position true so this will now become true so whenever you find a one at this position we basically have to insert it here right what we are going to do we are going to say reverse equal to reverse and perform zor operation with one i hope you got the point so this is my reverse value right now this is my reverse value right now if i perform zor operation what will happen zero 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 0 and 1 isn't it so you can see that 1 is basically present here after performing a ZOR operation on this ZOR 1 so n reverse ZOR 1 will give you nothing but 1 here right I hope you're getting the point this is reverse value and XOR operation this will be 1 remaining will be 0 that is what I have done here right so this is your reverse value right now now again what will you do as always after this part is done again I'll be right shifting by one which means now again you are removing this this is gone now again what we do this number is again greater than zero so true come inside reverse equal to reverse left shift one again perform a left shift so this time you can see you will be actually uh, actually be able to visualize the left shift so zero zero now one comes here zero comes here so the left shift is successful anyway next thing is again we are going to check what is the number at this position the number at this position is again zero right how will we detect by this n and 1 so this will return false because whenever you perform bitwise and between the number this and 1 you will get false and if false we are not going to do anything just simply say right shift 1 right shift 1 means this is dropped again now what where are we we are at this bit position okay again this number is greater than 0 true come inside reverse equal to reverse left shift 1 so again you are going to basically perform a left shift by 1 left shift by 1 means what so you will basically see 0 0 1 0 0 isn't it this is what you will see actually let me just bring it forward here so what will we see 0 0 1 double 0 so this is done by left shift 1 now what will you do reverse uh, yeah if n and 1 means we are going to check whether the number here is 1 or not how do we check that 
simply performing this operation and and one so what will be the value if you do bitwise and definitely you're going to get one isn't it which means a one is present at this bit location so whenever you get a one at this bit location we have to basically insert it into the reverse so what we are going to do now this is my reverse right now we are going to perform zor one so if i perform zor one what will happen this will be zero zero one zero one so you can see we have successfully inserted this one at this position done again drop this one because n equal to n right shift one which means this one is dropped now what do you have with you again this number is still greater than zero true so we are going to basically come inside and say reverse equal to reverse left shift one again perform the reverse left shift so you will be having zero one zero one zero okay the left shift on this number this is a reverse right now perform one bit left shift so you will get this now again we are going to check what is the number here one or zero for that we are running this loop if loop if n and one if this condition so n and one is not loop actually if block okay n and one means this is n and one if you perform bitwise and what will you get one which means one is present at this position and we have to insert this into the number so what will we do we will just come inside and say reverse equal to reverse xor and one so reverse xor one again so you'll have one zero one one i hope you got the point one zero one one so what was the number initially 26 so 26 basically is represented as 1 2 4 8 16 so basically 16 this 1 1 0 1 0 right now if i perform the reverse what will i get 0 1 0 1 1 so this is the reverse of this number and you can see this is what i have got here right 0 1 0 1 1 so basically i have successfully reversed my number and what will be the value of this so 1 2 4 8 so the value of this is nothing but 14 sorry 13 right sorry sorry it's actually 11 right this is the value means the reverse of 26 will be what will you get this number this is a 26 this is the reverse and you get 11 as the output so let me quickly code this particular problem whatever we did so far what did we do we just received a uh, number n and we will check i will declare one more unsigned integer uh, reverse uh, r suppose or reverse equal to 0 we are going to say while the number is greater than 0 we will come inside and we will perform reverse equal to reverse left shift 1 as I said while explaining and once we perform reverse so reverse equal to reverse left shift 1 as I do and once you do the reverse equal to reverse left shift 1 we should actually check what is the number at that bit position how do we do if n and 1 what does this indicate this indicates basically what is the actually the value at that bit position of the number right remember that is what we were doing here right so if it is true if it is true what do we do if it is true you will say reverse equal to reverse and this is the zor one okay fine so better not to write it in the blocks because it's a single line statement and otherwise what do we do otherwise don't do anything just say reverse uh, just say n equal to n left shift uh, right shift one right right shift here that's it so this loop will keep on performing whatever it requires to do and you will finally observe that okay this is reverse okay so remember we are just extra uh, checking whether our number is greater than zero or not if it is greater than zero we are performing reverse on the value reverse okay we are performing left shift and that we are basically checking what is the bit value at that particular point of the number n and if it is 0 don't do anything but if it is 1 we basically insert it into the number how do we insert by doing this zor operation i hope you have basically followed you can again watch my video for a better understanding and this loop will continue until we just extract all the bits of the number we go through all the bits of the number n that is given and finally what should we return we should return the value of reverse so return reverse that's it right so let us compile this code and check if everything is working fine so I hope you are not doing any mistake yeah so 11 uh, for input 11 the output is 13 okay so let us see whether it is true or not so input 11 means 1 2 4 8 
and input 11 means 1 0 1 1 yeah and what will be the reverse of this the reverse of this will be double 1 0 1 and it is nothing but 13 true so this is 13 this is 11 correct so let us check whether this is what they are talking about so yes we can see 11's output is 13 so if you just compile the code and submit it it will definitely work fine yeah okay so yeah that's all from this particular video considering the time complexity you can see for every bit we are basically okay so the time complexity is very simple you can see that we are just using a while loop and extracting each and every bit of the number n that is given so it all depends upon the order of the number of bits of the n okay number of bits in n so a good way is basically you can see what they have said in the constraint order of number of bits in the binary representation of n that is what i was saying okay so order of the number of bits in n that's it this is the time complexity uh, and obviously we are doing in we are doing it in constant space auxiliary space is order one so that's all from this video i hope it was helpful in case of any doubt please feel free to put it out in the comment section and just like share and subscribe thank you